I've had all different, you know, I had all different colors hair. You're working with producers, which I love the producers on Battle, so I, you know, worked very well with them. But at that time, that you know, they don't dye their hair. They don't know. They just think, oh, you're just being a brat. Cut to two years later, when my hair falls out, and they have to get a wig anyway because they can't shoot. Um, you know, so it's like now my husband goes. He understands that you have to maybe put in contracts earlier on some control over your look or your, you know, otherwise just anything can be done. You know, you're basically. It's not the whole hair. Yeah. Uh, yeah, chunks fell out here and there. So I, you know, I just had to basically cut my hair all off, and which is fine. Uh, short hair is great, but it's, it's one thing when you cut your hair into a sh short style, as opposed to when it falls out into a short style, and you're trying to make do with. Okay, I got bits here that are that long, and bits here that are that long, and you know. Um, but no, it's 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 helpful that he's not, that my husband is an attorney, but that's certainly not why I married him. <laughs> how, how do you feel now? Um, Battlestar Galactica is over. What was it? Was it sadness or, or happiness because you are free again to do something else? Or, uh... It's it's a bit of both, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I personally, I, I think it was a good time to end the series. I, I like when shows are shorter and stronger than when they just go on and on and on and then they start to lose the integrity of the show or you start kind of having filler episodes and, um, and then the network cancels it and the writers can't tell their story. I like the fact that Ron Moore could tell his complete story. And um, so in that respect, I was happy that it was ending. And, and also, since it was really my first show, I was eager to get out there and do other roles and, mm -hmm. and play other characters. Mm -hmm. um, so it was, I, I was happy it was ending. But I was sad that, you know, I was going to miss the people that I've, you know, that have become like family. We had a great, you know, great connection, all the cast and crew and everything. Um, we're still all friends. I mean, I got, an, I got an email from Edward, you know, Edward this morning, kind of thing. You know, Katie and I are really good friends. I saw Grace the day before I came here. So we're all, we've all stayed really close. Um, but, you know, and it's, it's, it was fun to see the, the vision. Ron's vision come to a close. Yeah. Were you happy with the with the end of the report? I was. You know, I, and I I knew going into that you you're not going to make everybody happy. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some fans that loved it, some fans that hate it. You know, that's just the way it is. I was really happy with it because you know the show was dark. The show was um, really was a human study, you know, study on human behavior and and what what humans are capable of and. Um, and it really was, you know, it's, to me it's sort of a forewarning of, of technology and, and advancement and are we really, you know, improving the lives of people and, um, you know, it ended, it was an ending. But it wasn't all, you know, it wasn't dark and depressing, you know, they found a planet. There's but found, hope. There, it, it, there's hope. But there's also, it wasn't all like tied in a nice little bow where, oh, we landed and we're going to build a city and they were separating and they were like taking a step back and saying maybe we've made some mistakes, we've made some mistakes, so let's take a step back and like try and give everybody a fair shot. But they really, you know, they got rid of all the ships, they got rid of all, you know, the technology and of course then it's rebuilt as we saw in the last scene, um, modern day New York, um, I think it was what, 150,000 years later? Um, but you know, to me, it's a it's a bit of a warning. It's a bit of a we need to we need to really think about what we're doing to our world. Can we imagine a, a motion picture or something like a few uh, uh, one more step after after the? Uh, the we're we're not allowed to because we don't have the theatrical rights. Glenn Larson, who was the creator okay. of the original show. He has the the movie rights, so we are not able to do a theatrical movie. We, you know, we can do things like the plan, um, which I think that's going to be the last one personally because we've torn down all the sets and and they've auctioned off most of the sets. So it would be a lot, a lot of money to redo. Um, although if we did it on the planet, then there'd be a whole set of new stuff. So you know, I'll, I'd never say never, but I I don't foresee it. And uh, what about Human Target? How are you cast for the series? And will uh, your role be a recurring one? Or um, that's a, it's a hard question because I'm kind of in negotiations right now. Okay. Um, the role was just a guest role in the beginning. The Human Target is about, um, it's based off of a DC comic. And 
it, it's about this guy that was a hitman that has basically turned to the good side and he's protecting people who have a hit out on them. And so my character is, um, I play an engineer, designer of the high speed train, the bullet train, and somebody's trying to kill me. So he's protecting me um, in, in the episode. There has been some talks of my character, well, I guess that tells you that I'm a, <laughs> I don't die. <laughs> but um, there's been some talks that, that I'm going to be coming back, but uh, we'll see. It's, it's too early to tell. I'd like to. Um, I, I, know, I know both sides want it to happen, but I'm also doing another pilot. I did another pilot that, that um, technically owns me, so we have to wait and find out what happens with the other pilot first. Because you were really present in the sneak peek uh, post show the, at the upfront. I'm sorry? You were really uh, present. Uh, you had a really uh, long screen time. Did you see it? Yeah. Oh, did you like it? So, yeah. And oh, so uh, I thought you, you were a recurring oh, thank you. Well, well, you know, I'd, I'd love to come back on the yeah. show. I, I had a great experience on it and I think it's a really fun show. Um, but I, I did another pilot called The Dealership yeah. um, as well that, that um, we have to find out. My contract is with them first, so I have to find out what's happening with that show first. Okay. And you made some fantastic pictures for the Playboy. What was the purpose of it? Um, you know, it was... Uh, they approached me when I first started Battlestar Galactic and I said no to it because I was brand new into acting and I thought, now's not the time, I, you know. Uh, I'm trying to get away from the model, you know, and at that point I was more known as a model than an actor, um, and Battlestar was just starting, so a couple of years later they approached me again, and at that point, you know, Battlestar was doing well, I had a Peabody Award on my shelf, I had an AFI Award, you know, the, the show had won quite a few awards, and, and I, I was now more known as an actor on Battlestar than my past modeling career so I thought this is now you know now the opportunity where you know I feel like I'm young enough yet I feel like I'm you know I can, I can do it um, and, and coming from the modeling background I also feel that uh, you know the human form is art as well I think photography is art and um, I'm proud of the pictures I think uh, I think they're beautiful pictures um, they're, I, I did topless pictures but I didn't do you know the whole shebang and you know, to me, that was a, a difference between you know doing it as an actor, doing it and, and being a playmate, which I'm certainly not a playmate. And um, I had creative control; I could choose my photographer. I had photo approval, um, and you get a nice paycheck. And um, I'd always wanted to work with Sante Durazio, a great photographer, and I'd never worked with him as a, as a model. So um, I worked with him on this shoot, and we had we had a really fun time. Yes, I, I felt the timing was right, and um, I'm proud of the pictures. Yes.